YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're checking out South Park, Douche, and the Danish. We're continuing season 20. Listen, if you want to watch my full reaction to this episode, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, yeah, ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Hold on. I don't care if you're a boy. I'm going to kick your ass. Yo. Hold on. We got a fight between somebody and the homie Butters, and nobody called me? Nobody hit me up like, yo, DTV. Yo, we need you to ride, dog. Butters got beef. You feel me? Nobody called me to pull up for homie. Yo, they're bugging, dog. They're bugging. But hold on. Is he really about to fight a girl? No, nah, he's not. He, he's not about to fight a girl, bro. He got, he got his pants down, bro. He ain't doing nothing like that. And I guarantee you she ain't either. Yeah, that's definitely a chick. I just run it. Anytime, anywhere, skank. Yeah! Damn, Call skank. Your pants first. Why? You afraid to fight me like a man? Kick her ass, butter. She called you stupid. He is stupid. Look at him. At least he's not a zitty faced girl. Yeah! Z z z right, well, guys, guys. <laughs> Come on, hasn't this gone on long enough? Aren't we tired of being so divided Stop. at school? Yo. Yo, this episode just started like on some Twilight Zone ish, bro. First of all, you got Butters, like the 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 sweetest, softest kid in the group, about to get in a fight with a girl, right? That's already two weird things right there. And then it looks like the voice of reason is Eric Cartman. What? The 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 biggest troublemaker in the show is out here trying to stop fights from happening. A few videos ago. He was trying to get Craig and, uh, and Tweet to fight. Like, what you mean, bro? What is happening? What kind of alternate universe are we in right now? Get out of here, Cartman. Nobody's buying it. Yeah, everyone knows you're the worst. Hey, leave him right. alone. Eric tries to help Dang. him. Dang. Sorry, baby. I had to step in. It's cute, baby. Yo, she's a ride or die. Heidi? Heidi has really been hurt by all of this, you guys. And I think for her sake, it's time for us to all try and come together as a ski. Ladies and oh, gentlemen, he's about to throw it. Like never before. He's about to and throw we all know it. That only one man has the guts to say what we're all thinking. Please welcome the man who, with your help, will soon be the next president of the United States. <laughs> So I'm standing in line at the airport, waiting in security because of all the freaking Muslims. Okay. And the TSA security people all look like black thugs from the inner city. I'm like, oh, good, you're going to protect us? Bro. You know, maybe it's good they're all gang members. At least they can tell the difference between Muslims and Mexicans because God knows I can't. Bro, if this isn't, if this isn't as close as it gets, I maybe not as close as it gets, but in real life, bro, if y'all follow with, with what was going on at the time, this isn't that far off from how wild it was, bro. So, you know, I'm standing there in line and you know what I do? I stick my finger in this chick's asshole. Oh my God. She turns to me and says, Hey, aren't you that guy that's running for president? I say, yeah. She says, why you got your finger in my ass? I said, I'm just keeping it warm, honey, because that chick next to you is way hotter, and I'm going to stick it in her clam. Yo! I know yeah, a lot of people that like that there. Again. This kind of feels like a stand-up comedy um, show. You know what I'm saying, where the comedian is, 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 is saying jokes, and sometimes people get offended and walk out. You feel me? Oh, yeah, look, I guess some more broads are leaving. Oh, geez, you were so on board. I can't believe I let that little offensive mark slip. Poor girls. Did you we get your what, feelings like five hurt after already? cheering for f all the immigrants? Jeez, I'm sorry, jeez. Fellow trolls, 
We have gathered together because our anonymity is being threatened. Individually, we are some of the most notorious trolls in Colorado. We must now find a way to unite. Each one of us has the power to make message boards go haywire, the power to make individuals buckle and fall. Imagine if we use those skills against a common enemy. They have an entire government at their disposal, and we have Skank Hunt 42. <laughs> it's Gerald, all right? I believe that he is the key to stopping all this. Yeah. All right, everyone, they don't they don't stand a chance, man. Like this is a, a a country like got together to to fight what you guys are doing. I don't think they stand a chance at all. Boys are harassing girls, and girls are stereotyping all boys. It's not now, Mr. Stodge. Put it away. Okay. <laughs> I've asked for some ideas, and a couple of students want to try and help. Guys, Damn, we no have love. a lot of problems facing our school. I don't know if many of you know Heidi, but she is really smart and really funny. <laughs> Stop, Eric. You are. And she's come up with a pretty cool idea. Tell him, baby. Yeah, but the way you said it was actually way funnier, remember? What? How did I say it? Remember you were like, oh, what if we had a fundraiser in, uh, what was it? Remember it was like a... When was it? Were we at Denny's? Yeah, we were having the, that dessert thing. What was that? Oh, hey, guys. What, what's up? What do you oh, mean? Oh, right. A school fundraiser. Tomorrow, we'll be going to... <laughs> he, thought, he thought everybody was just being nosy watching him, and it's like, nah, bro, like... You made speech right now. You just stopped talking. Each individual class with more information. And after that? Then we should all come together as a skew. <laughs> <sighs> Sir, what were you thinking? You have millions of supporters who are looking to you to lead. They're going to want to know what you're going to do about this. I mean, I don't know, nothing, whatever. You want to tell them that? Yeah, he's not They're even outside. trying, bro. They pulled up, bro. All his supporters pulled What's up. What's going on? What are you doing? Oh, uh, hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're tanking in the polls. But you know what? It's fixed. I was never going to win in the first place. I knew it from the beginning. Not encouraging this at all. This son of a bitch pulls a fast one on us. Right, it's like he's right. not even trying. Oh, no, I'm, I'm trying. I Get him. Oh, bro, that's a lot of people. Yo, they're about to, they're about to, they're about to kill him, bro. They're about to lynch him. I've seen guns, chainsaws, bats. <laughs> that's not, that's not ending well, bro. No, 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 it's not about one person. It's about pushing people's buttons so that they'll react in a way that pushes other people's buttons. Look, you don't just troll a woman with cancer to get a reaction from her. It's all about the group of people that are gonna come to our defense. They're gonna be so self-righteous that another group of people will eventually find those people totally annoying. You're just setting them against each other. It's like the fission reaction that sets off the fusion explosion. The internet does it all, and you just sit back with your glass of wine and laugh. Wow. Your yeah, my man's got a plan. That seems kind of mean. He knows how it works. It's not mean if it's hilarious. Hey, guys. Today we're going to start our school fundraiser. It's an idea I came up with called Danishes for Denmark. Okay, children, let's take our seats. Let's uh, get back to our lessons on grammar, shall we? Mr. Garrison? Okay, does anybody uh, remember where we left off? No? All right, uh, who can tell me is what an adjective is? Is he trying to, like, forget is? running for president? Who can, who can tell me what an adjective is? Uh, aren't you running for president? Adjectives usually become before what? They, they come before nouns, that's right. <clears throat> Mr. Garrison? Damn. You can't just act like nothing happened. You're spiraling out of control, and you have to answer to the people. I don't know what you're talking about. I am a teacher. Okay, adjectives describe nouns, and there are He's several like types denial, of things. bro. What are some examples of adjectives you can give me for this sentence? Anybody? You sold people a line, Mr. Garrison, and you have to make good on it. The yellow ball, that's a good one. Or we can say the slippery ball, can't we? Come on. What else about the ball? No, please. What else can we say about the ball, children? No, please. Leave me alone. The bouncy ball? No. No, I'm not going back, please. <laughs> They're going to kill me, children. Help me, children. Help me. But as well with it. I've studied your work. You're so good at lashing out at the Why system. He, he's about to get like, mad from the south of the horses. Why do you do it? 
told you it's just funny to me. I do it for the lulls. I don't believe that. I think there's more to Skank Hunt. When I was in school, kids teased me, called me a midget, even though I'm not. My mother was a little person, cool, though, for real. but she actually married a guy who had gigantism syndrome. She thought if she was a little person and had a baby with a giant, I would come out normal. Now you'd be a giant midget. <laughs> you can't let these Danish pricks take... Hold on, bro. Hold on. Did Joe just almost laugh at his ass? We can work together hand in hand to make the whole world understand that we came together as a scheme. Put our differences aside. We're jamming now. out. Now feeling pride. No more fighting. It's time for something. That's Carmen singing, right? And uh, his girl? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come together. We're jamming out, bro. Gonna put an end to trolls, and then maybe everyone can finally be as happy as we are. Let's come together as a ski. Terraform Mars. One, two. This is Dildo Schwagens. We are ready to commence the trashing of Denmark. All trolls report in. Purple-headed Queeflick is standing by. What are they doing? Just troll? Standing by. MLK, I'm ready. Anonymous eight twenty one. Hold on. What the hell was his name, bro? I know this. I know he didn't just say MLKKK, bro. Stop playing with me. Flicker standing by. Shankamora standing by. MLKKK, I'm ready. <laughs> Anonymous 821 signed in to multiple accounts and standing by. You are fat and dumb standing by. Super sexy Lisa 18 standing by. Your mom's tits standing by. Skank Hut 42 standing by. Okay, everyone follow Skank Hunt's lead. Don't get distracted. We're only trolling Denmark. All right. Engaging Twitter now. Prepare for overreaction on my mark. Bro, what the Three, hell are they going to do right now? Mark. Bruh, really? Really? All that build up just to switch scene? I hate when they do that. It started. Hold on, he spent the night at his house? You don't know this dude. Did they pick it up on Yahoo? Don't know, but Google has it as the number one story. Oh shit, go to Damn. Google. Damn. What do they do of though? people took to the internet last night after shocking claims were made about the Danish company Lego and their ties to ISIS. Oh yes, this is CNN front page right now. Bro, they spread they spread rumors? It now appears the country of Denmark was the victim of a massive troll. We did it! We did it! Damn. Oh, Kyle! Uh, hey, didn't think you'd be leaving yet. I have a fundraiser at school. Well, did you see what's all over the internet? Everyone's ripping on Legos! What? Yeah, now the whole world is blowing up with Danish jokes. It's hilarious! The Guardian has a bunch of stories up about how the Denmark government isn't responding to even interview requests. Wow, f Denmark, huh, Kyle? That's got to be what just why, about everyone is thinking now. Why is Denmark acting acting fishy? Like if y'all were, if y'all were trolled and, and and all this information is false, then like let people know. You feel me? Like stand up for yourself. Denmark. Hello. Buy a Danish to help stop trolling. How come nobody's stopping? Nobody's rocking Maybe this with was a Denmark. Idea. <laughs> it was a great idea. Hey, hey, buy a Danish for Denmark. <laughs> Denmark. Yo. That's it. I am through with your stupid crap. Every house I've been to just rips on me and it says Denmark is stupid. What? It's true. Denmark got trolled last night. They left social media. Then all of this was for nothing. I told you, fellas. This is what you get for working with a bunch of stupid girls. How is this our fault? At least we actually did the work. Oh, yeah? You guys f***ed up all the frosting. You assholes overcooked them! Oh, no. This was a terrible idea. Heidi. I'm so stupid. Don't say that. Why did I even think I could bring the boys and girls together again? Because you're smart and funny, that's why. It was a great idea, Heidi. I think that somehow... Trolling is playing a bigger part in this than anyone even realizes. Bro, I'm digging this new side of Cartman. It's like a completely different character that just looks like Cartman. You feel me? He's there for his girl. He's trying to be understanding. He's trying to make her feel good. 
And he's trying to bring the people, the, the kids in South Park together. You feel me? Now, how long is this going to last? Who knows? We'll probably get him back to normal in a couple of episodes. <laughs> you feel me? When the world is changing so fast, it makes us yearn for the old ways when life seemed simpler. But it doesn't mean those old ideas are good for us now. We have okay. to face one hard reality as a country. The new Star Wars was not as good as everyone thought it was. Bro, we're talking about Star Wars? I thought... Y'all yeah, know what I thought. <laughs> Sir, we've got a message from overseas. You really should see it. A message how? We're completely offline. This was sent on the VHS. Whoever sent it is completely offline too. Put it on the screen. VHS. People of Denmark, we know that you've been the victim of trolling. So have we. Maybe we can help. I'm not sure if you know my girlfriend Heidi, but she's Bro, really smart. Really nobody funny. knows your girlfriend you Heidi. Who the hell are these people? Just listen. You see what I'm saying? They don't know you either, Cartman. I have an idea. I might be able to figure out the source of who told you last night. And everyone back inside. If this girl really is that How? smart and funny, we might have another shot here. What can what can Heidi offer? Like, what does she bring to the table that we don't know about? Like, how can she find out who's doing the trolling? You feel me? Bro, this season, I like how it's all connected. I haven't seen episode one. I've said that before. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I do feel like I like I'm gonna have to watch episode one to get a better understanding about the um the member berries. You feel me? Cause um there's definitely more to them. But all I know is or all I look at them as is berries that talk. That's it. You feel me? But there's definitely gotta be more to them. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know. No, 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 never mind. Don't let me know anything because I don't want any spoilers. I want to figure this out as it all as it all unfolds. But if you enjoyed this video, man, do me a solid. Go on and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet and join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.